to another video. This first clip in this video might be quite familiar if you've watched my old videos. This was a watercolour painting that actually started me off really enjoying watercolour paintings. Um, I ended up doing commissions after practicing because I really enjoyed this one so much. I still actually have this painting. I was going to sell it, but I got a little bit attached to it, which is weird for me because I never want to keep any of my paintings. You can tell this um, first clip is really old because I don't have any tattoos on my hands. I have little baby hands. So I actually started this video before the new Monsters movie came out, the one that Rob Zombie has done. And I wanted to release it when the movie came out with all the hype and everything and I was really excited. But then a whole lot happened in my life. Um, I have ended up moving four times since I started this video. I went from one cat to three cats. A lot has happened. So safe to say that I have not been posting. So these first illustrations that I did, I wanted them to be very monstery, but not actually copy items from the monsters. I just wanted them to be inspired by the monsters show the old one which is why i did them all in black and white which i think looks really cool the first one is kitty from the show the other ones you'll probably if you watch the monsters you'll understand where i got the inspiration from i did a candle with a candle holder and a bubbly drink because in the show they have like these drinks that bubble all over the place and I've always thought that I wish I could try it. <laughs> Obviously it's fake but hey I still want to try it. The candle reminds me from when Lily walks around the house with a candle at nighttime in her little gown. I also did a cute little coffin with a really small little snake popping out. He's really cute as well. I also did a cute frog <laughs> poking up behind a potion bottle because um, grandpa always makes potions. They're pretty much all just roughly related to the monsters. I really like how they came out. They were one of my first drawings that I did for myself after coming back to drawing again because I had just been only working on pet commissions, people commissions, and it was just so nice to do my own thing again. I do love drawing people's pets, but I do really want to get into drawing my own stuff again. The bubbling cauldron at the end was obviously for when Lily is cooking in the kitchen and she's normally making some kind of porridge or soup. <laughs> I just thought it'd be cool to have some little tentacles coming out and I like how they came out. They were made obviously to be stickers because they had the white outline. I did start making them myself but I've been so busy that I thought I might just outsource them instead of making them on my Cricut. And yeah, we'll see how they come out. I'll update you on that probably in a studio vlog.
So now we're moving on to the monster, monster cats, monstery cats. They're kind of just the monster characters as cats. These were meant to be stickers as well. Um, I was going through a sticker phase at this time and I was just like, what else can I do? That's monstery and I love cats. And then these just came out. <laughs> Obviously we have all the characters and I thought it would be really cool to do one small pop of colour or like desaturated colour for each character which kind of fits them a bit and I really am glad I did that because it looks really cool. favorite one is probably Eddie because he's got instead of having Woof Woof his toy he's just got this cute little cat plushie and he looks kind of homemade and a little bit gnarly and I really like him. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I was really keen on hearing other people's opinions on the new monster movie even though it's not really that new now. I actually think that Rob Zombie did a pretty good job at trying to keep it monstery because he's a fan of the monsters himself. I actually fall asleep to <laughs> the monsters every night. Well, normally I'll have drawing with waffles on and then once I get sleepy enough, I put on the monsters and I just re-watch the episodes <laughs> and I'll wake up at night and to fall back asleep, I'll have the monsters on. I really love the episode. I think it's called Just Another Pretty Face or Not Another Pretty, Just Another Pretty Face. The one where Herman gets electrocuted or whatever. And then he, his face turns into Fred Gwynn's real face instead of all his makeup. Yeah, I love that one. Herman's Happy Holiday Valley or whatever. I love it. Anyway, enjoy watching the rest of the speed paint. And let me know down in the comments what your favorite episode is if you do watch the monsters or if you grew up watching it like I did. I used to watch it with my dad all the time. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Drink a little water, feel a little better. You do what you gotta, babe. Bring life into your muscles, instinct for the living man. Oh.